So right here is where I am. If you look, 20 to 30 feet to the left of me, there is a giant school of crappies. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. And in today's video, we are going to be doing some ice fishing. I am still in North Dakota with the legend, John Lehman from Middak Outdoors. But before we get to the lake and get some ice fishing done, I got something in the mail that I took all the way to North Dakota. And that is my Mr. Tackle Box. So we are gonna be unboxing this, showing you what is inside, because this is the first month for the ice fishing box. So we're gonna see what's inside and see if we can use anything in there. So if you guys don't know what a Mystery Tackle Box is, basically it is a monthly subscription company that sends you a box of baits every single month. This is the ice fishing box, but they have tons of different boxes for you. They have bass, walleye, panfish, the ice fishing, they have trout, salt water, pretty much anything that you fish for, they will have. The first thing I see when I open my Mystery Tackle Box is an assortment of different tungsten jigs. Got four different companies here. We got some Frostbite, we got some Northwind Tackle, some Widowmaker Lures, some Arnold Tackle Co. They are all tungsten, which is mainly what I use for pan fishing, so that is super awesome. Then, if we keep going in the box, we got an assortment of plastics, which goes perfect for your tungsten jigs. So, that is great. And then, finally, inside of the box, we got, oh, we got one more actual tungsten here. We have two more jig and wraps, which by far probably is one of the best walleye baits for ice fishing if you guys haven't used it. Just slap one of these bad boy on, find some rocks on the bottom, probably gonna catch some walleyes. And that is pretty much what's inside the box. You got some pamphlets and some paperwork showing you what is in there and how much you saved and then you get a fancy sticker. Everything in this box I can definitely use for today's outing, especially the tungsten jigs, because we are going to be going for some more crappies, which tungsten jigs are so key for going for crappies, just because usually when they're in schools like that, you want to get down to them as fast as possible, and then as soon as you catch a fish, drop back down, because you have to entertain the school. If you don't, chances are they're just gonna swim by you. So having the tungsten jig, something a little heavier than just like your standard lead jig is going to get down there faster and help you stay on top of fish. If you guys are new to fishing or just wanna grow your tackle, definitely check out Mr. Tackle Box. I will leave a link down in the description. I am going to stop rambling, get all of our gear together, get John Lehman off of the couch because he's being a lazy pile. Right, and I'm up. I'm up. He's already, already carrying a rod too, wow, ready to go. We are going to get all of our stuff, get to the truck, go pick up the Smack em Outdoor boys, and we are going to get to fishing, so stay tuned. I did it. First crop of the day, guys. Just one, it wasn't really a school, but he came in and bit right away. I guess, probably just going to sit in this spot for a while and hope to God the school comes back through. These guys have been absolutely pounding them through here. It's just they move so incredibly fast in these schools that we're chasing them around. And it is extremely windy and cold out here. So I'm gonna stay hunkered down and just wait for them to come to me. I have a few, but now they're gone. Yeah, it's like you catch one and then they're just gone. These little crappie. Get them back. See if we can capitalize Here's on the school. school. This is ridiculous. I'm probably like, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna get absolutely three fish out of this school and I've set the hook like 274 times. That's not bad. Yeah. I'm solid red from 14 feet up to like 11 right now. I'm starting to get a ton coming in now, finally. There we go. I went slammed it actually. Decent little crappie. Probably got about five other ones under me right now. 
Get it Ruiz on that one. These schools move so incredibly fast out here that you basically have to catch them as fast as you can because otherwise they will lose interest and they will just get on out of there. I'm gonna drop down quick. I already got another one coming. Oh, just ripped his face off. Luckily for me, there's about 10 other ones down there right now, chilling. Some of these seem like bigger marks, but we're gonna see if we can get them to actually commit. Here's one coming. Pretty sure they're biting super light. Oh my God, what is this? Yeah, I would have to agree. Okay, oh, here comes a bigger one. one. Here comes a bigger one, he's gonna hit me. Oh my God, and I ripped his face off. Hey, you should put a missed them counter on your video. I should. I just missed like three in a row there. Oh, I did way worse. Okay, well, makes me feel a little better. I just ripped the lips off a of two right there, though. So right here is where I am. If you look, 20 to 30 feet to the left of me, there is a giant school of crappies. So I am going to grab the auger quick. Head on over there and see if I can get on top of this school. Because if I can, it looks like there's like 30 marks there. So, let's get her done. Got a big mark coming towards me. Got one right under me. Ooh. Oh, of course, you show up and now they're biting. Ooh, that was like hit it hard, dude. Sheesh. Not a very big crappie, but he did nail it. There's a huge school over there. Not a very big crappie, but the school is down there still. And honestly, there was a huge school like back that way, like 20, 30 fish. So I don't know why I'm wasting my time here because I'm gonna try to chase those guys. And I know John's doing the same because he wants the auger right now. So I'm gonna get on that. Drop down, see if one's gonna come up and hit me. Oh yeah, this one is. There we go. A lot of these schools have been crappies about this size, which yesterday we did catch a bunch of decent ones. So I know they're around here and you can definitely see the schools that have them. There's a whole bunch down there now. Oh, uh, just right up. Finally. And what do we got? Were you correct on the six incher? Uh, no, I overestimated. <laughs> overestimated? I overestimated at six inches. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Tell you what though, what's impressive actually about that one is the fact that you actually felt the bite. Yeah, with how cold my hands are, I'm impressed I can feel anything. <laughs> Absolute giant. So you can tell it's windy. So uh, not only is it windy, it's cloudy and it's cold. And we've been out here since, what do you think, like noon? Yeah. Just grinding and yeah, just this size fish has been what we've been getting all day. Another one coming? Yeah. Is it gonna be the same size uh, or bigger? No, this one's a little bit bigger. Oh! Ooh. Oh yeah. boy. Multi-species, multi-species. So you just clap some fish? I come bearing gifts. Wow, I was just watching Dustin. No, not hand warmers. I was watching Dustin. Salt and pepper. He caught a three incher. Hey, you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about at Krusty. All right, guys. Well, John is still slapping some decent fish, but Krusty and I, on the other hand, uh, no, we're not. I haven't caught anything decent in a long time. Our hands are absolutely freezing. It's really not that warm out today, and we're dealing with a pretty strong northwest wind right now so hands are extremely cold fish really aren't biting but we did keep a couple for the frying pan so we will be going back and frying up some fish for a little catch and cook so we're going to pack up all of our stuff walk back to the truck drive to john's and i will see you when we get there well all righty guys so made it back to wisconsin 
Now, I was supposed to grab the camera when I got back to John's house to do a little catch and cook. Well, plans changed, and like I said, I am back in Wisconsin. I drove home, did not do a catch and cook, did not actually eat any fish at John's house, completely forgot to film an outro for this video. This was the last video that we shot while I was over in the North Dakota, Northern Minnesota area. And yeah, it just completely blanked me. So I am here back at my house, but I did make fish. But as you can tell, these are just some fish sticks. Definitely not the same as fresh crappie, but it is gonna do it for now. I'm sitting here with my two golden retrievers. We got Oakley and then we got Honey. You guys have probably seen them on the channel before. Well, probably not Oakley, because uh, he's only probably about seven months old right now. But I think Honey's been in a few videos. Uh, he will be coming out on a lot of adventures, actually. I plan on taking him out for a lot of ice fishing in the near future, so probably be seeing him in a lot of videos. You guys seem to really be enjoying the early ice fishing content that we are bringing, and as you probably noticed, we are uploading a ton of videos. I mean, we are talking more than we've ever uploaded in the past, and that's mainly because our goal is upload three times a week, every single week. There's no excuses now. We're uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays, and we are gonna keep doing that all the way through the ice fishing season. I'm gonna finish eating all my fish sticks. I'm gonna try to control my dogs, maybe even give them a few, because they are being quite good, even though Oakley's messing with that towel. But, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed, because we're gonna be pumping out a ton of ice fishing content. And before I go, I do wanna say, with us uploading three videos a week, not every single one is gonna be an absolute banger. We can't get out there all the time, guys. We do work full-time jobs. So the content that we're gonna be bringing is pretty much every time we get out there. So, I mean, I would love to catch a mounter every single time I go out, but obviously that just is not the case. So really appreciate you guys staying with us and supporting the channel over the years. So I'm going to wrap things up here and I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NBA.